Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we can see the output of the book application and we will start talking about the middlewares. Ok, so this application we have written. We started with the index.js and we created reducers, actions, store and we are using Redux dev tools also so that we can see the output or debugging on the dev tools. Ok, so this is our application. Initially you can see the current state of application is these two nodes ok list of books and active book when you click on any of the book the active book becoming active book start having the title and pages and when you are keep updating it this particular state is getting updated even you can play around with this so initially the state was this then you add something then the title and pages keeps updating so here you can inspect it all the books selected these are the actions you start adding right the different set of books you keep passing and the same is getting updated in our state you can see the active book is updated this is how our state is getting updated and we are able to inspect it or debug it using with the help of like redux dev tools we can enable redux dev tool by just passing an argument in the create store function okay now Next thing up after this particular application is we can start talking about middlewares like Redux Thunk, Redux Promise, Redux Saga, Redux Logger because these are helpful middlewares for our application. These are extending the functionality of Redux like Redux Promise. Redux is purely synchronous. It doesn't understand asynchronous. The Redux reducers are pure functions. They need data. They don't need a promise. So we will be using this Redux Promise one module, the first module as a middleware we are going to use, this Redux Promise will help us to actually convert the promise into the data and then only send that data to the reducer. I mean, we can't send promise to the reducer, reducer will not be able to understand that data. So, first we have to resolve the promise, then only we will forward it to the reducers. So, you can see. The default export is middleware function it receives a promise it will dispatch the resolved value of the promise means it will wait until you will resolve that promise and once the promise is resolved it will send that promise to the reducers if there is an error error it will not send it so it is simple like simple as like this so this is an action fetch thing and this is dependent on the asynchronous output of this so the data in the fetch thing action as a payload will be sent from this await call. Once we get the data then it will be forwarded as an ID. So this is the payload we are sending in this action. Okay, I mean we can use this Redux actions, sorry Redux promise with our code. We are writing a weather application and in the weather application you will be making an API call to external HTTP endpoint. So without resolving that response from that API call, we will not forward our actions to the reducer. We have to stop the promise first and wait for the promise to get resolved. Once the promise is resolved, then only we will forward it to the reducers. This is what this particular module Redux Promise is doing. There are many modules, Redux Promise Middleware, Redux Promise, Redux Thumb, Redux Saga. All are doing the same thing in their different ways. Okay. We have this Redux promise, which is the initial middleware you can use and how to register a middleware. We can actually simply pass, we can import it and we can pass that in the compose or in the while doing a create store. The first argument is the root reducer. Second argument is the initial state. Third argument is the uh, middlewares which we are passing, which we have also done in the past. So this is how we will do it. So we will look into Redux Promise with weather application in the next video.